Hey guys, Dylan here. I got this Jetta leaking oil from the front. Um, I'm gonna figure out where it's coming from and get her fixed up. Sorry I wasn't able to capture everything on video. I'm gonna spray everything off. I'll show you what it looks like. You can see there's pretty much oil even way over here. It's all over the shield. It's all over the bottom of the pan. All right, everyone, I got it all cleaned off. Since I was suspecting the oil filter housing, it's it's pretty clean up there. So now I'm just gonna start it up and let it run. And then see where the oil comes from because I don't wanna guess at this one. Watch for more. Looks like the oil filter housing is the culprit. You guys see that? And then there's the new one, guys. You can see where it goes up in there. Yep. Cooler bolts to here. Alright, guys, I think I'm just going to pull the end tank. There's two screws that go right up into that right there. I'm gonna take out this one here. All right, guys, I'm gonna take that bolt out as well while I'm down here. And then that one over there. And then I'm gonna go up and take the intake loose. I was having trouble getting this intake loose, these two damn bolts there. So I got my uh, triple square and my wobble socket. Now I gotta take this loose, and hopefully this will come out. I'm sorry, I probably can't get it on video. I'll show you when I get it out. I had to pry this over to get that loose, and now it's loose like it's gonna come out. I ain't got it out yet, but it's probably going to come now. Alright, I was able to pull this shit out of my way. Now this intake's about to come out of here. i got to get everything unplugged. Alright guys, that's the ticket. I undid the throttle, I undid this throttle body plug. I snaked that hose right through here. This hose here came right, right out through here. And I just pulled the intake up out of my way. I still got my fuel line on there. But now you can see the oil cooler housing very clearly. It's going to be a lot easier to get to that top bolt. And these bolts. I'm going to have to loosen it up first. I'm going to go ahead and get this bolt out next. Let's see where that puts me. Hopefully I can get it wiggled around and get it out of there. I'm going to have to remove this sensor and reuse it. These are all triple squares. I just put my three inch extension up there with the triple square. Now I'm gonna try to get my ratchet on it. I took this one hose off here and it started coming down. I had to use my cable hose tool to get that clamp turned around. But hopefully it'll come out from down below now and I can take this cooler off and put it on there and then get the housing replaced. Whatever you do, you gotta try not to break that uh, sensor because you gotta reuse it. Guys, I don't know if you can see what I just did, but it's just a 
really tight. I got it out, gosh. What a nasty son of a bitch. Alright, it looks like it's a uh, 15 16. Make sure your ceiling washer stays on there. Alright, this is junk now. Then we can get our new one, put this back on there. Alright, we take something off, you want to make sure that. Painting surfaces are clean from debris, so it seals good. I normally use Scotch Bright pads because they just don't mess everything up. I mean, use a uh, surfacing disc, you can wear too much aluminum away real fast. All you gotta do is clean that stuff off, and you're in good shape. See, I got it all cleaned off, guys. I'm going to try to stick this thing up from below. All right, guys, I got that jet up done. Uh, if you like what you've seen here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more like it? put a couple videos over here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and on to the next one.